Have you ever noticed this effect when watching a video? No? Well, that's exactly the idea. To the human eye, fast-moving objects naturally blur, but this blur isn't always captured on camera, depending on the shutter speed. In this case, adding motion blur to your footage during editing can help make it feel more natural. In this tutorial, I'll show you two simple ways to add motion blur in Premiere Pro using the transform and directional blur effects. First, import your video into the timeline. Next, go to the Effects panel. If you don't see it, you can find it under Window, Effects. Once you're in the Effects panel, navigate to Video Effects, Transform, and drag the Transform effect onto your clip. With the Transform effect applied, head over to the Effects Controls panel. If you don't see it, again, you can find it under Window, Effects Controls. If your footage is a different resolution than what your timeline is set to, you'll need to reset the anchor point and position properties first. You can reference the motion effect, which is above as reference for both of these numbers. Next, animate properties like position, scale, and rotation by toggling the stopwatch next to each property. You'll create keyframes by adjusting these values at the start and end points of the clip. To add the actual motion blur, scroll down to the shutter angle property within the transform effect. A typical value is 180 degrees, which gives a moderate amount of blur, but you can increase it for a stronger blur effect. The higher your shutter angle, the more motion blur you'll see within the animation. If you use motion blur often or with specific resolutions, you can also save all of these settings as a preset. To do this, right click on the transform effect within the effects controls panel and choose save preset. Now you can give it a recognizable name to be able to quickly apply these settings to specific resolutions or use cases. Another way that you can add motion blur is by applying a directional blur effect. Start by selecting your clip in the timeline, then in the effects panel, navigate to video effects, blur and sharpen, directional blur. Drag this effect onto your clip. In the effects controls panel, you'll see two key settings, direction and blur length. Set the direction to match the motion of your object. For example, if your object is moving from left to right, set the direction to 90 degrees. Then you can adjust the blur length to control how strong the effect is. Make sure you keep this realistic for the movement that's taking place in frame. Now, if you only want to blur a specific area, like the background or a moving object, you can create a mask. In the effects controls panel, use the pen tool to draw a mask around the area you'd like to blur. Then, adjust the mask feather to soften the edges, making it blend a lot more naturally. If your object moves across the frame, you'll need to track this mask as well. Start on the first frame of your clip, then click the Track Selected Mask Forward button in the Effects Controls panel to follow the movement frame by frame. And lastly, fine tune the mask as needed to ensure it stays on your object throughout the full clip. And there you have it, two ways to add motion blur to footage in Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and head over to storyblocks.com for unlimited downloads of royalty-free 4K footage, templates, music, and more.